Benjamin. Benjamin. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Can you hear? Yes. Can you hear? Okay. Clear, nice and clear. Okay, okay. Okay. Teacher, y de vez en cuando podemos hacer preguntas en español. Yes, when it's if you if you don't find the the words to say it, si no si no lo encuentra cómo decirlo, no problem. Right? Sí, porque a veces que yo quiero preguntar y yo como cómo pregunto y cómo yo rebuscando en mi mente. Try, pero try, try. <risa> eh, okay. Aunque a veces no sea muy clara la pregunta, pero yo entiendo lo que quieren decir. Entonces no importa, aunque sea como usted dice aquí, entrecortada la, la pregunta, pero si la puede hacer en inglés, do it, no problem. Ok. Ok. Sí. Ok, ok. Now, this is what you guys here. Hey, Adeli, how are you? Hi, thank you. Good night, everybody. Hello. How was your day? What? Very tired. Okay, it's a tiring day. Had yeah. meetings? Okay. Yes, it happens. Oh, hello, Lorena. How are you? Hi. I'm fine, thank you. And okay. you? Good. No cooking today? No. I'm no, baby, no babysitting? No. Okay. <laughs> My husband. My All husband right. is the babysitter tonight. Okay, good. It's, it's his turn, okay? Okay. Good. That's good. To keep him busy. Okay, this is... Let me see if it's kind of, if it moves fast. Oh my God, it's taking forever. It's very, very slow. Uh, have Somebody you wrote uh -huh. on the chat and say that the platform has some problem. Exactly. It's server, it's yes. international server. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. But it was working fine today, but I don't know. But okay, oh yes, now. But in this case, I think, I don't know, probably internet too. It's a little slow. Okay, remember this is the video that we watched yesterday, right? And we were talking about the past tense. I mean, past tense. I mean, the the verb is simple present tense. Uh, work and works, the two forms that we have in English, right? And then we have, I'm gonna play the video for you to remember just some ideas. will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, study, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you, work, he, she, works. I, you, take, he, she, takes. 
This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus a subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay, so this is just to, you know, to look like uh, feedback, you know, like a review of the video that we watched yesterday, right? And then now here we have the simple present with WH question words. Complete this, this conversation using simple present and WH question words. Okay. Uh, Benjamin, what is the number one? Here says, what do you do or what does you do? What do you do? Okay, so this is the question. Can the answer? Excuse me. And the answer, read the answer. I'm I am a full time student. I study the violin. The <laughs> violin. Yes, that's yes, that's correct. Okay. I'm a full time student. I study the violin. Study. Study. Study the violin. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay. Okay, Lorena, how about the number two? Where do you go? Where to school? Do you, where do you go I to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Right. Good. Elizabeth? Number three. Permita. Okay. Permítame que no la leo. It's okay. It's okay. Three. Good evening. How do you like? Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. How do you like this? How do you like your classes? Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. Okay, yes. How do you like in this case is like your opinion, right? What is your opinion of your classes? How do you like your classes? And then you say, I like, I like, them, like them a lot. lot. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Robert. Roberto Chicas, number four. Hi, good evening. Uh, Hello, good evening. What do Tania do? She is she. What? What? Um, what does? Exactly, because it's she here, right? What does? Okay, sorry. Yes, no problem. What does Tania do? So okay. He, she, she is a teacher. teacher. Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. Uh, Claudia, number five. Um, what does she do exactly? She teach math. Here? Yes, teach. She? Yes. Teach. Teaches. Teaches. Uh -huh. Teaches. Sorry. Teaches. Yes. Okay, very good. Number six, Adeline. What about Ryan? What about Ryan? What about Ryan? Uh, where does he work? He works for a big computer company. He works, okay. Ryan works for a big computer company. Okay, Benjamin, the last one. Number seven. Okay. What a... Seria... What, what does he? Do exactly 
Okay. What does he do exactly? What? What? He, mm -hmm. he creates websites. Okay. What is uh, a, general, uh -huh, a general question and where refers to locations or places, right? It would be he creates websites. Okay. It says what? What does he do exactly? Okay. What? It's like, uh -huh. what does? okay. For example, if you, if you, okay. Say where do you where do you work? Ah, I work uh, at a, in a bank. What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? Well, I am a, I am a tailor. I am an accountant. <clears throat> I am a manager. Okay, and then you you tell what you do exactly. In this case, this guy creates websites. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's, oh, we left one. How do you like? How do you like? Let somebody answer. How do you like? Okay, probably this is one of the problems with the, with the platform. That is not working, okay? But it's not important. Okay, let's see the next one. The important thing is that we can see the material, right? Continue. And let's see, Claudia, can you please read this objective here? Okay. In this lesson, you will listen to the co two conversation where time expression are first in, in, introdu and introduce introduced introduced okay introduced okay uh, remember that for example in english uh, this time expressions are very important right because uh when we when we use the time expressions then we have like a better idea okay of what some people are talking about and also the tense the grammatical tense that they are using time expressions. Okay, thank you. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. <laughs> okay. Good. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Work at five. Okay. Which are the time expressions that you can see in the conversation? In the first part? Usually, Here? really. Uh, in the morning. No. Oh, boy. These are the time expressions, right? Uh, usually, it's a frequency adverb. And then we have in the morning is? In the afternoon. Uh -huh, correct. In the evening. At, at night. night. Okay, here said in at the... At midnight. Exactly. At midnight. At night. What else? Just um, that. Just that. Just that. Okay. But you see in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, at night, and at midnight. And you can also use at noon, okay? For example, uh, we usually we usually have lunch at noon. Noon is in the middle of the day, and mid and midnight is in more or less 
three hours, right? So the middle of the night, okay, 12, 12 midnight, okay? The hour for the, the scary movies, okay? You can watch a lot of scary movies, this is midnight. Okay, and... Noom, mm -hmm. noom, no, uh, it's the mid, the mid at 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Okay. Okay. Midnight is 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. In Spanish, es la hora del sope, Benjamin. At noon, yes. Uh huh. At noon. Okay. Yes. That's at noon. Correct. Okay. So then we have uh, this expression. These are time expressions, and then you have frequency adverbs. Now listen to the pronunciation, the intonation, check the vocabulary, see if you have new, new words that you would like to learn or expressions, okay? Listen. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh. Okay. No problem with the vocabulary. No. no. All right. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, good. So then this is the the introduction to a time expressions. And then we're going to have preposition of time, adverse of time, before we do the practice, okay? But then we have, for example, okay, what time do you usually, or oh, when do you go to the gym, or when do you do exercise during the day? When do you do exercise? In the morning. Okay, in your case? In the afternoon. You do two times, in the morning and the afternoon. Yes. Okay, the rest of the class? Benjamin, in the what? In, uh, uh, Juan, in the morning. Benjamin, when do, you do ex when do you do exercise? In what moment of the day? Me on the example? No, you. Me, me. Um, in the morning. In the morning, okay, in the morning. Arely? In the morning. In the morning too. Claudia? At night. At night. At the night. Okay. At yes. night. Then you say at, at night. night. Okay, and Robert? In the morning. In the morning, okay. So there are some people that prefer to go to the gym at night or some other people that don't have time in the morning or in the afternoon and they go at night, right? So it depends on your, on your schedule, how busy you are, or also mm -hmm. depends on your likes and dislikes, okay? I have friends that they, they, go, to, they go to the gym, they teach, they finish teaching at 9 p.m. and at that time they go to the gym, right? Or at 8 p.m. and they go to the gym at night. So it's, but I, in my, at night for me it's more, uh, it's more complicated. I think that at night is, you are tired, okay? But for some people, they feel more energetic, mm -hmm. okay? And I prefer in the morning, okay? But in this moment, I am not doing exercise in the morning, neither in the afternoon, nor at night, so at any time, <laughs> okay? I need to do <laughs> exercise, okay? So I'm, I'm getting, you know, where I don't want to be. Okay, what else? Uh, this is time expressions, okay? What is another thing that we can do? So exercise, 
uh, what are other activities that we do in different moments? For example, I watch TV on Saturday, Saturday nights, okay, on Saturday nights or at night on Saturdays, or Sundays in the mornings, okay, this then when I have time. And of course, you know, I watch uh, soccer games on Sunday uh, in the afternoon, right? So, so these are the three moments that I watch TV, Saturday nights, Saturday mornings a little bit, and then uh, probably a soccer game in the afternoon on Sunday, okay? What about you? What are some activities that you do in different moments? Who wants to, to share? I receive the other uh, course mm -hmm. uh, in the night. In the night, at night. At night. Okay. At night, um, Martes. Tuesdays? Or, or Tuesdays? And, yes, Tuesday and Thursday. And Thursdays, okay. Yes. At what time? Uh, three hours. But what time? In the uh, six to six to six nine. To, six to nine at okay. uh, nine p.m. Nine, 9 p.m. This class. Yes. Wow. So that means on Tuesday and Thursday you have four hours of classes, beginning in the evening. Beginning in the evening, six mm -hmm. in the. Wow, that's good. I mean, it's tiring, but good. Okay, thank you, Arely. Anybody else who wants to share? In my case, uh -huh. every Saturday um, in the afternoon, okay. we go to the park with the family. Perfect. Excellent, okay, in the afternoon. Okay, so these are time expression. And if you see, for example, you are using simple present, right? They say, in my case, uh, we go to the park on Saturdays in the afternoon. Simple present and time expression. Good. Uh, anybody else? Claudia, Benjamin. I'm um, swimming uh, with my girls Saturday at uh, 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 a.m. In the morning? In the morning. Okay. Yes. So you go, you go swimming with your girls with your daughters in the morning uh, yes yes okay i'm um, studying uh, tuesday tuesday um, 7 at uh, 9 p.m in the night at night at night at night okay very good good Juan? in my case i eat pancakes every saturday in the morning. Okay, that's good, yes. Pancakes, you know, with, uh, with honey, okay. With my family, make uh, pijamada. Okay, pijama, uh, oh. let's say like pijama party. Pijama, pijama, pijama party, party. Uh -huh. uh, all Saturday night. Hey, that's good, sounds good, sounds like fun. I sound, sounds funny. Okay, good. And Benjamin? Um, for example, me, um, my family watch TV every day in the morning, in the uh, midnight, mediodía, midnight. At noon. Uh, at, okay, noon. Right? at noon. Yes. At in noon. the in the uh, noche. At night. At, at night. night. Okay. Every, so every, every, every day, every day. Okay, my family watches TV every day. Mm -hmm. Then you say, for example, watches TV in the morning, at noon, at night, every day. In the morning, at noon, at night, every day. Every day, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and you? me, I play in, I, I, I play uh, okay. games, games. Video games. Every day. B video games? Video games. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I play video games every day. Every and, day. Uh, after the class. After class. So at night. 
So at night. At night, right? Then, for example, I play video games uh, after class, or you can say at night. When, when you say after class, it's not necessary to say at night, right? Because you already, the time expression is after class. After or class. You, uh -huh, or you can say, I play video games at night every day. Every day. And, mm -hmm. okay. okay. In this case, it's more specific. It's more specific when you say after class. Because after if, class. You say, if you say only at night, it could be before or after. Right. So okay, that, okay, okay. That's a specific. Good. Thank you, Benji. Questions I have people? another. Uh huh. Go ahead. I Benji. have another. Go, go. Um, I take my dog for a walk every morning and every night. Every morning and every night. Okay. So twice a day, right? Yes. Yes. Good. Robert. I drink coffee. Uh huh. One time. Mm. On day. Two times. two times, okay? Two times. You can say two times or you can say twice. Twice. Twice, uh -huh. the same, two, two times or twice. No problem. Thank you. Okay, Robert? Uh, I take a shower, I take a shower at 6 a.m. And I take my lunch and before, uh, no, I I take my lunch at two p.m. and I do exercise in, in the in the morning and in, I watch uh, TV after, uh, before, uh, after, before class. Before class, okay. All right, good. So then, you know, also sometimes before, after, at six o'clock, at seven o'clock, those are uh, uh, prepositions of time, but also uh, they are expressions of time, okay? So you can use them as both. No problem. Thank you, Robert. Okay, no more? No more examples? Any other idea? I take a shower after my exercise every night. Every night, okay, good. Then uh, you can say also, I take a shower twice a day, one in, once in the morning and a, one in the afternoon. Okay, so you can use some people because it's very hot or you have to work or exercise. Sometimes it's necessary to, time, uh, to take two showers a day, right? Okay, okay. Okay, very good, excellent. Now let's see the, um, again, we're gonna watch, I think there is another video here. It's a, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Let's see this. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. 
in. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay. Can you see this? No. No, you cannot see the word document, right? So, let me see. Not at all. Nothing, nothing. A black screen. Yes. <clears throat> Well, let me see if we can do something apart from the black screen. Okay. Let me see, see, see. I need to show you. I don't know if I will be able to, no. And not in the chat either. Okay, good. Well, I'm gonna take it from here then. No problem. Years. Examples, we have classes at eight. At okay, the important thing here is to remember when to use at. Night. And in. When to this use, preposition of when to use in and when to use on, right? So we have, for example, classes at 8 p.m. at night, okay, in the specific moments, right? At noon, okay, that we have. A, in, this, in this preposition of time, it's used to discuss general times of day, except night, month, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning, uh, in June, in 1989. Okay, in these cases, you are going to use in. In January, in February, in March, in April, in May. When is your birthday? In May. In June. Okay, Claudia, when is your birthday? The month? October. October. Oh, this month. Okay. Uh, uh, Monday. <laughs> Ma 20, last 26. 26. Yes. Okay. <laughs> happy, happy belated uh, mm -hmm. birthday. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday, Claudia. Yes, Thank birthday. you. Okay, Thank good. You. Teacher, then, what about the expression on? On February, on March, on October? October. Doesn't what is the difference if you use in or on when you talk about the month? Lorena, you always ask difficult questions. I know. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. okay. Here, for example, if you see, they say in June, it's only the month. And when you say on, you say the date. Okay. Ah, okay. The, the date is, for example, mm. uh, Claudia's birthday is on October 26th. Or specific. Exactly. And if you use only the month in, in, in October. Okay, for example, my birthday is in May. Okay, but May has 30, 30 days. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be more specific, you say my birthday is on May 7th. Okay. On May 10th, then there is when you use the preposition on. Okay? Okay. And you. another thing that you always use, if you see, is for weekdays, the days of the week or the names of the, the days of the week, we always use on. No, no the, like in, in Spanish, we say the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, right? But in English, you say on Monday. So you use in 
For example, in the week. Uh, you, you don't say, say for, in a specific day. Uh -huh, when you say, for example, um, on weekends. On the oh, week. I have a I, I have a test. Mm -hmm. No, es que no puedo usar el limbia. Uh -huh. Yes, I have a test on Monday. We have mm -hmm. a test on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Give me an example using in y la palabra week. Uh, let me let me think about one. If we can have one, probably in well, we have in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in January, in February, in, in summer, in summer, in winter, in autumn, in the spring. Uh, then the rest is on the weekend. Mm, in the week, in this week, on this now it has to be on. Oh, no, it, yes, I'm now within. Not we that can, I remember. Yes, we can't use in with the week, with the week word. Uh, yes. Okay. So as we say on weekends. Okay. Okay, okay. Then we have. Uh, they say on this preposition of time, we discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week. Okay, for example, a portion, a portion of the day uh -huh, is this. Okay, and then we have at and in. Oh, and when you use, for example, the year, right? In 1989, in 1986. Okay, questions? Um, time is you. Sorry. Um, if a uh, if um, a sick exception for nine months here. Uh, here in. In when use in a sick exception nine months here. Okay, uh -huh. but in this case, you only say the month. Okay. Only the month. And here, the month and the date. Oh. Okay. Then you say on. Okay. When is Christmas? When is Christmas? Mm -hmm. On December? On December the 25th. 25th. Christmas Eve? On December? December the 24th. 24th. Uh-huh. Okay. And in this case, for example, when is the the end of the year? On December the 31, 31st. 31st, 31st. Or, or in December, mm. okay? More general, right? When is the end of the year? Ah, in December. What okay. is exacto? What is? Yes, exacto. Um, uh, this one? Uh, in, when used in, um, when say they set, set. No, in no, in is general. Okay, okay. For example, uh, if I say in uh, Kenya, in 1968, in 1960, mm -hmm. in 1970, okay, but 1970 tiene 12 months and 365 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's general. Es solo el año de nacimiento. Okay, I was born. I was born in nineteen in nineteen sixty six. Okay. Okay. Now I was born on May seventh, nineteen sixty six. Si va a decir la fecha exacta con detalle, on. On. Okay. In general, only the year in. In general, only the month in. Okay. Another question, teacher. Mm -hmm. What about the preposition at? Mm -hmm. And the use, uh, how do you use at night or in the night? Oh, you can use both. Or on. No, you can use in the night, in the middle of the night. Okay, or you can say only a and you can say at night. How you, can 
uh, difference they use for the, the the preposition at. You only say at night. It's more general. It's like in. No. It's similar. It's, a, it's similar. Okay, just uh, give me a second because uh, in this moment it's uh, raining very hard and I can't hear very well. I need to close a window. Okay. No me ha quedado muy claro a mí este, este, este tema. Es que el in lo usas cuando es algo más general. Por ejemplo, él decía, cuando te preguntan, ¿cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Y tú decís, en octubre, entonces pues usas el in, in, in octubre, ¿verdad? En eh, octubre, ajá. Ajá. Eh, pero cuando te preguntan, dame la fecha exacta de tu cumpleaños, entonces usas on y ya decís la fecha puntual. On es como decir, ah, el 24 de enero. On, oh. on January the 24th. Entonces él, él dice ¿verdad? que el in para esas preguntas las usas de manera general cuando das una respuesta general y el on cuando das algo específico. Lo mismo con los años. Si te preguntan, ¿en qué año fue la conquista del de Salvador? Ah, ya tú decís, ¿verdad? En tal. In, I think, no sé qué. Y luego si te preguntan ya la fecha exacta. ¿verdad? Hay que usar on. Ajá, hay que usar on. Y lo mm. mismo es el at, que yo le preguntaba, porque a veces uno se confunde, ¿verdad? Cuando usa el at y cuando usa el on. Porque hay muchas expresiones que dicen at the meeting of the night, at the no sé qué, on the night. Entonces, ¿cómo tú puedes diferenciar cuando vas a usar una y la otra, verdad? Porque no es como tan Porque para tan mí fácil. usar at es cuando voy a dar la hora. O sea, cuando uso, voy a poner hora. Ok, good. Ah, como, como decir at seven o'clock. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. Y el on es en la noche, cuando, on the night, no, o in the night. En este ejemplo, on, cuando voy a dar, eh, como dice usted, un día específico. Okay, o good. sobre, en otras expresiones es sobre on. Yes, uh, okay, that's good. I think that you have a good idea. De lo que dice Arely es, estamos viendo prepositions of time. Uh -huh. Y estas mismas prepositions son prepositions of place. Uh -huh. Ok, que sería on, on the table, sobre la mesa, in the park, en el parque. Ok, pero esos son otros 100 pesos, right? That's a horse of a different color. Ok, then, uh, okay. no, but, <laughs> but what Lorena says, for example, when you talk about the uh, preposition, sometimes is is the same thing, but in a expressed in a different way. When you say, for example, eh, trabajo de noche o trabajo en la noche, what's the difference? Um, in Spanish, is there a difference? Trabajo de noche y trabajo en la noche. Uh, sí, porque trabaja de noche es como o sea, cualquier hora de la noche, no sé. Y en la noche tal vez es horas específicas de 8 de la noche a 12. Ok, so then that's when you say I work in the night and I work at night. So you can say, for example, I, I go to the gym at night. Ok, so it means or in the evening is another expression, in the evening. Remember that in the evening is early, right? Like from six to eight more or less right so then you can use in the evening so that would be basically almost very similar right when you say at night and in the night 
So, Entonces, to... at viene a ser algo bien general. Mm -hmm. yes, Como en la noche. Sí, la noche, horario yeah. específico. Uh -huh. De noche, right? At... De noche. Uh -huh. okay. And then when you say in the night, then you can say, for example, from 10 to 12. In a specific schedule. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. okay. So that's why, and there is a song. Hay una canción que dice, in the middle of the night. So then you can use it, but I, I think it's Billy Joel, the one who sings that song. Okay, so it's in the middle of the night, too. This is in the medio de la noche, right? But it's more like, a, how can I feel this? Like, like in uh, lyrics or songs, okay? But it's also in, and if you say at midnight, at midnight is a specific moment, okay? Like at noon. Uh, I think at least said, for example, you use uh, at when you say at seven o'clock, at six o'clock, at seven o'clock, at noon. At noon, eh, Lorena, you said right, la hora del sote, right? It's exactly the time. Mid yes. <laughs> at, at noon, son las dos en punto, right? And at midnight, son las dos en punto, but in the night. So those are specific moments. At night is the period of the night, right? And they say in the middle of the night. Okay? So you can use them according to the, to the what? To the context. According to the context. Teacher. Okay. But, uh -huh. uh, when I say uh, I was born uh, in October uh, 1990 or mm -hmm. on October night, night. No, it's the first one. The first one. In. Yes. Okay. If you say the date, uh, then you say on. Okay. 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 You can say I was uh, I was born in May sixty six, or in May nineteen sixty six. No problem. But if you say Oops. I was born on May tenth nineteen sixty six, it's on. That's a complete date. Mm. Right. Okay. Eh, el otro día me llamó alguien de una oficina y me dice, deme su fecha de nacimiento. Yo le dije, ok, mayo 66. Y se quedó callada. Ajá, ¿qué más le digo? La fecha. <laughs> ok, le dice, 7. So then, uh, that's why it's more very specific. When you say date, is month, day, and year. Right? And then in that case, you say on. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now let's see the some examples. Here. We'll meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December twenty fifth. Okay, here you have uh, 10, I guess, 10 examples, yes. <clears throat> okay, what do we have in the first one? I get up, at, on, in. Get up, at, at six o'clock. In. At, at six o'clock. At. Uh, specific, right? Well, uh, you can say at 7.30, at 7.15, before the time, we use at. I go to bed. In. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. I start work. At. 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 I have lunch at 2 p.m. In, In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In. I stay up at 1 a.m. In weekend. Oh, in, in the morning, weekend. I stay up. Weekend, weekends. Um, on weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Weekend. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. I wake up at, uh, sorry, I wake up late. On Sunday. On, on Sundays. Sunday. On Sunday. I watch TV. 
evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. I do my homework. At. Not. At night. On, at night. On around in. In. On. In. In. In for in the afternoon. I don't homework. Aquí nos metieron gol. Nos metieron gol. Around. Nos hicieron trampa. Esa no está en la. In and out. Around. Okay. Around. 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 Okay. Approximately. Around four. Okay. <clears throat> when you don't have the preposition at for a specific hour, then you can use around. Around. Mm -hmm. I come home around six. What is around? Around is como al alrededor de. Oh. No very exactly. Right? Not no very la, exactly. Alrededor de las cuatro. Okay. Then you say around. Around. Yes. I work. On weekdays. On weekend. On weekdays. 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 Uh -huh. Weekdays. Weekdays. Can I get home? Late. 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 Okay, so probably this is. This are what? What? Weekdays. Weekdays. What Monday, weekday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. These are weekdays. De lunes a viernes. Uh huh. Día de semana, right? And the other ones on fines de semana is weekend. Weekend. Okay. That's similar in Spanish, right? Okay. Uh, we go to we go to school or we go to work weekdays, but then uh, we stay home on weekends. I work on weekdays. I work on weekdays. Uh huh. I work on weekdays. I don't work on weekends. Okay. For example, uh, Lorena, do you work on weekends? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, Saturday. Oh. Uh, ah, but, uh, but yes, Saturday. Only From Saturday. From 8 a.m. to 12. Only Saturday morning? Yes. Okay, part, part of it. And Juan, do you work on weekends? Yes, I am work. I do. Yes, I do. Do you work? Yes, I do. Robert, do you work on weekends? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, good. The chosen Robert. Yes, he's, <laughs> he has that privilege. Okay, he's the privilege. Okay, good. And Claudia, Claudia, do you work on weekends? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, wow. I have two. video, Claudita. Vámonos todos para el banco. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. Let's go to the bank. Yes. No, but banks work on weekends, right? Some. Yes, yes. From America Bank. Uh, Even on Sundays, right? Yes, yes. Monday or uh, Sunday. Okay, but you only work weekdays. Weekdays. Ahí nos escribimos, Claudita. Ahí le paso mi currículum. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Okay, then in the next one we have, uh, well, these are the prepositions, and then let's see the next one. Okay, good. Uh, Juan, can you please read this objective here? In this class, participants will develop listening skills for specific, specific information about daily Schedules. Schedules. Daily schedules. schedules. Uh -huh. Okay, listening skills for specific information. Como se pronuncia daily? Schedule. 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 Okay, listen to the other one. 
Only listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine-to-five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around ten. Right away. Okay, now you can see the. For example, Romney is a. Okay, you have to find the. Sure. Patient, but not correct. And then the time that he gets up. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. Okay, nine a.m. Uh, the time that he gets home. Six eleven p.m. At eleven p.m. Ah, eleven p.m. Okay. Uh, he goes to bed at. One a.m. One a.m. And what about Tina? He's a manager office. Manager office. Uh, office manager. Okay. She gets up. Seven a.m. At seven a.m. She gets home. Five five p.m. I think five or six. I don't remember. Six. Six p.m. She goes to bed. At uh, on the weekends at twelve. At midnight. That means midnight, uh -huh. right? Midnight. At midnight. Okay, so here you can see Jeff at nine, at eleven, at one. Yeah, no, oops. Ah, there is a mistake here. Aquí debería ser an. Tina is an office manager. Because there is O. Okay. She gets up at seven. She gets home at six. Mm -hmm. She goes to bed at midnight. And Ellen? Ten. Uh, uh, flight, como, uh, flight mm -hmm. assistant. Fly assistant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. That's correct. And she gets up before? 5 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. She gets home at what time? 5 p.m. Oh, no, 9. 9. And she goes to bed? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay, now listen again, just for you to confirm. To double listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. An office manager. It's a regular nine-to-five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. 
Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. So you would see here, these are the expressions. They use the expression around, right? Uh, the man, uh, Rodney said that he goes to bed around one. Okay, and Ellen says that she has to get up before, before 5 a.m. Okay, so these are other expressions that you can use before, after, around. Okay, these are, these give you an, uh, let's say an, an, an idea of how close you are to one time. For example, a, we, for example, the, we finish this class around 10. So that could be one or two minutes before 10. Or we finish this class at 10 o'clock. Okay, we finish this class a little after 10. Okay, or a little before 10. So these are other time expressions that you can use. All right? Okay, um, on Monday, on Monday, no class, okay? Because it's November, November the 2nd, it's a national holiday. Okay, it's a national holiday, so no class. How do you say? The, uh -huh, holiday. Holiday. It's a holiday. Right, it's a national holiday, but we are going to have the class on Friday next week. Okay, yes. So we're gonna have. Uh, we can go to to dance. Then you with yourself, and you can have the class while you are dancing. Okay. So then uh, it's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Four days okay. next week. Four day. Four day. Yes. Okay, people. Have a nice long weekend. Three days. Okay, and relax, study English, dream in English three days, okay? And I'll see you on Tuesday, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, people. Bye-bye. Have a nice bye -bye. night. Bye-bye.